so thank you all for joining today for our, uh, on this webinar for the new update that has just rolled in uh, i don't know how many of you have uh, gone through or heard about microsoft teams and microsoft stream that has just been launched now and the whole idea is to give an empowerment uh, in communication to the teachers so i'll begin with microsoft team first so microsoft team is basically an update if uh, i i would just like to have an understanding if you were using any communication tool like uh, outlook groups or or any other such thing like that earlier were you using any you can write down in the chat window if you were okay uh so just in case if you were using few things or you use few things uh microsoft teams is a platform wherein you can collaborate with your uh staff members you can have effective communication between you and your students it can be on any particular subject or a topic or a, an assignment that you are working upon or it can be uh, in general uh, say for example if you want to communicate with your students or a particular class in an academic session so for that we have launched microsoft teams now microsoft teams is available in multiple platforms it is available on desktop version on your mobile phones as well the simplest method to do is uh, you can go to teams.microsoft.com or you can uh, go to and log into portal.office.com all right so you need an office 365 id for that and i think most of you must be having that already if not you can go to office365.com/teachers and get uh, and get get uh, one for yourself and your uh, students as well all right so this is basically microsoft teams once you log into this if you can see the snapshot uh, we have an ambassadors this is one of the uh snapshots of my own group that we are associated with this is a worldwide ambassadors group wherein we can chat collaborate uh we can plan a particular meeting say for example if we want to have a test or anything it can be uh, given to the uh, students similar in the similar manner and it can be passed on the information can be passed on to each and every member of the group irrespective of the place and the area they are sitting in So similarly, it can be used in your classrooms as well, wherein you can uh, discuss few things about, say, subjects or a project that you are working collaboratively. And the best part is, you can do all the communication that you can do on a normal communication uh, chat application like uh, WhatsApp or Viber. At the same time, it is much more professional. The reason I say it's professional because uh, the students, the teachers are already uh, will have the IDs with them. so everything is mapped and the teachers can track the discussions the assignments shared and other things from the desktop or the online version of microsoft teams all right so this is just one snapshot showing how desktop app also can be used for this uh, this is how you can create a team so a team is basically nothing else but a group of either staff members or a teacher with her students and in that way they can communicate effectively you can share notes you can share your assignments or projects or say for example if uh, i just want to uh, uh, share an article from a magazine or a newspaper which i feel can be useful to the students i can do it straight away from uh, microsoft teams uh, once i have done that i can also share plan out meetings say for example if i am taking a uh, cyclic tests or uh, uh, unit tests or quarterly tests i can prepare meetings reminders of that so that it can be sent to the students automatically and i can also keep a track of that via my apps that i have so in a moment i'll show you how you can do it through your app uh these are the some of the features in which you can also add members remove them and add a particular channel to your group so adding a channel means say for example if i want to float certain information i can do that right from microsoft teams and what does a channel means i it means that i can float a particular information through a particular channel so if i want i can prepare a video and i can share that across to my uh, students or the group of staff members i have uh, i have asso i am associated with all right so once uh, this is done you can 
simply once you are you have created a group created a channel and other things then you can simply start working upon on uh, office 365 and microsoft teams so this is one of the biggest things that we have done wherein the teacher can simply float information news or any particular sound uh, announcement to the group of students uh, at the same time it is also integrated with OneNote. So if uh, you are using OneNote, I am sure you must be aware of OneNote class notebook. We had covered that up in our previous webinar. So the teachers can also prepare integrated OneNotes class notebooks or staff notebooks. Here I am giving you an example of how staff notebook can be made wherein the teachers can collaborate together. And uh, this is integrated into the Teams uh, section itself. Now. Uh, Teams is not only available for your desktop but also for your mobile phones it is readily available you just have to sign in with your office 365 account once you install and download this uh, these are the features that it offers it is almost like working uh, as on a desktop version or a desktop app but the facility is that you can use it with the convenience of uh, on on your mobile phone so you can share your documents take a snapshot or simply float a quiz or what you can do is you can prepare a question paper take uh, the upload that onto teams and uh, you can simply ask the students to submit the answers at that particular Microsoft team group all right so this is how you can use this on your mobile phone similarly you can also find out individual things right from your mobile phone so say for example if three months back I had shared a quiz or a test or a formative assessment I could share that right from my mobile phone uh, once I have done that I can also chat regarding this with my students I can give them remarks right in the uh, Microsoft Teams section and I can take their feedback as well and the best part here what we are allowing now is a video conferencing so what you can do is you can be sitting at different locations the students can be sitting at different locations and you can do a, a virtual classroom right from your either desktop or laptop or your mobile phone you can have uh, video conferencing with literally each and every member of your classroom so this is a very handy feature that we have uh, integrated into Microsoft Teams and in the mobile app that you will be downloading you need not download a separate app for this the Teams app will integrate each and every feature that I'm just telling you right now so similarly it is also means uh, if you want to give any uh, remarks or feedbacks or discuss the results or share a particular progress chart with the students it all can be done over here so this is the smartphone app that we have just uh, launched for the teachers the only thing that you require is your office 365 credentials to log in into it and the rest you can then do it very easily now the benefits is obvious uh, if you want you can have an effective professional communication from all the platforms that you have not just your classroom but uh, you can have it on the go if you are on a leave if you are uh, enjoying certain vacations long vacations like summer or winter vacations at that time you can communicate effectively with your group of students if you want to know more there is a course that we have uploaded on uh, Microsoft Educator Community there is a link if you can see in the purple color so you can simply click and go to that particular uh, uh, course and uh, you can learn more about how you can use it in your classrooms this is something that we are looking forward to where the teachers can use this platform to communicate effectively with their students all right now the another one that we have done is Microsoft Stream okay so Microsoft stream is a fairly new and it's an uh, exciting update that we are concerned with uh, many times the teachers they are uh, they they want a particular tool wherein they can up, uh, do some lectures and then the students can go back and they can uh, view those lectures and uh, during revision it makes the work of the teacher very easy wherein she can simply redirect the students to watch that particular class lecture and the topic and other things are uh, very clear to the student then so Microsoft stream is launched now it's a video service wherein you can simply upload create particular channel for your uh, school and that channel can be accessed by your students 
so now what can happen is say for example if you want you can uh, simply record one of your classroom sessions it can be a practical experiment in a practical lab it can be a skit that a teacher is doing to with the students just to record that or it can be your classroom uh, delivery what you are taking in a classroom on a particular topic and that can be recorded and saved and uploaded in microsoft streams now the difference here in microsoft stream apart from other uh, video hosting sites is that first of all it's uh, basically for your school so if you want it is totally secure it can be accessed only by your student and only by the students whom you allow okay and secondly there are many smart features in it so by smart features i mean there are many interactive uh, methods wherein you can see all these things so i i'll just uh, leave you with this slide to understand what are the things you can do you can record classroom act activities practicals i've just given you few examples and this was basically launched because the teachers wanted something wherein they can host lectures or uh, particular subject explanations effectively for these students okay so once uh, you uh, have created a video you want to stream that you can put it on stream on a particular channel that you have created now what will happen is uh, there are few features the first of it is a face detection so what happens with the face detection in timeline review is uh, if you are uploading a video automatically what it will do is it will recognize the faces in the uh, video so the student can pause any moment at any moment and uh, he can select any particular face it can be your from a particular group or it can be anybody else's so that he can focus on what that particular person is saying at the same time every detail every word in the uh, video will be converted will be transcribed into a lang uh, sub, uh, some sort of uh, captions which the student can search copy and then he can also use it for his, his own purpose so this is a fairly uh, new addition that we have done to uh, video hosting uh, service that we are doing wherein the students can and you need not do it uh, manually yourself what you can do is you can simply upload the video select auto transcription and it will automatically convert whatever you are speaking into written text that can be uh, manually searched or copied and pasted or uh, student can use it for your uh, for his or her own reference right so this is one thing that we have done in uh microsoft stream and the best part is stream is also getting associated like i had just uh, earlier shown you it is also getting associated with your uh, microsoft team so you can create a particular channel and then link it to your microsoft team section so this will help you to organize things organize lectures topic explanations practical experiments that you are doing and the work that the students are doing segregated and constructive in a particular place and that is uh, available on all your devices so this is what the latest update is and what we have done right now and uh, just in case if you have any issues uh, you can ask me uh, you can unmute yourselves and you can ask me or you if you want you can also type it in the chat window if you are in a noisy environment nishte there's a question uh, it says but how to invite non microsoft users okay so uh, see first thing is uh, non microsoft users cannot become a part of this reason being because we are wanting this to become a secure platform for the school we do not want other people uh, because lot of time school is concerned with its uh, security the teachers want their content to be secure she only want it to, to be accessed by her or his or her students so in that case that is the reason we are asking uh, this to be on a secure platform that is the reason we want office 365 ids if you want non uh, microsoft users so uh, sorry to say but they cannot come in and uh, come use these microsoft teams they have to have an office 365 education id at least with them right uh, any other question yeah another question can uh, uh, whatever video is put on this uh, stream can it, i prevent my students from downloading it can i give them just the view rights and uh, they should not be able to download it can that okay. be done uh, ye, uh, see this is something that uh, any which way the students will not be able to download any of the lectures 
okay so what they can do is they can simply go they can uh, view it they can use the transcription tool to convert whatever uh, you are speaking in the video into a written text and that they can copy but if you want the students to download that video that cannot be done by them so that is that is a sort of security uh, that we have tried to put in in uh, microsoft streams yeah thanks for that mr all right uh, is there any other question from the audience okay uh, okay how to connect to other schools okay uh say for example uh, if you want to connect with other schools in microsoft teams is is it, is it uh, this you are asking me how to connect with other schools in microsoft stream uh, team okay so just in case if you want to connect with microsoft uh, school some certain schools that are using first thing that they have to have is an office 365 education version id if they have that you can connect with those schools make a particular professional learning community okay so uh, i haven't mentioned here in this microsoft team section but what you can do is you can make groups like uh, internal school group staff members group a generic group which is open to everyone and then you can also make professional learning communities now professional learning community is a group which is not necessarily in a particular school or a location but it is spread across okay so what you can do is uh, you can make professional learning communities between yourself and other school teachers that is totally fine the only thing that you need to do is you need to make a group uh, a team in uh, microsoft team section and sh either share the link with that particular teacher or you can ask them to search by the name or you can add them manually by using uh, by entering their uh, email address that that is it so this way you can also connect with other schools so that that option we have kept open all right uh, any other question uh, sanju sharma is saying no audio can you hear me ma'am i'm sorry sir i guess not okay no issues Uh, are there any any other question regarding Microsoft Teams and uh, Microsoft Stream? Okay, so uh, this is one thing that I would reiterate once again. Uh, the reason that we have created a group and we are inviting participants like you is because we want to do a case study along with you, and there cannot be a better person who is using them in the classes right now. so we would be more than happy if you can prepare a sort of a feedback and can share either a, in a mail or in a word file or in a powerpoint presentation along with some pictures or something or either you can also prepare a sue and send it to me okay so i'll be more than happy if you can do that uh, you can share that particular uh, uh, feedback uh, i i would say case study and you can share it to me on any of the ids that i'm using i'm open for your feedback on any of the channels it can be a social media channel it can be a personal id that uh, i have so uh, this is something that not just uh, on microsoft team and microsoft stream but even if you are uh, using some other tools like somebody said i am using minecraft somebody said that uh, they are using sway so if certain case studies can be forwarded to us it would be uh, very kind of you and we would like to know more from you about this right so just in case if you have any issues do let me know and uh, thank you for attending this webinar today i'll just post the link for the webinar so you can come over here and uh, mention the attendance right so i can see that somebody is using uh, in a big way so i am sure if you are uh, you can help us with the uh, particular uh, case studies right so i am pasting the link right now and uh, you can simply come over here and you can mark your attendance over here all right so this is the link for your attendance please uh, please mark it over here i can see yeah great so if if uh, you as the black bearers can share these case studies we would be more than happy okay so you have uh, a sonia ma'am saying you have integrated l uh, ed mode for lms that is perfectly fine 
so if you can help us out with the same right just use this link to uh, uh, share uh, mention your attendance for today and thank you please do ma'am please do yeah i'll be very happy if you can share some of your queries or your questions right thank you so much with this i will uh, put an end to today's webinar see you soon and there's a surprise that we have for the teachers who uh, will be over here and who have the case study sharing so just be with us all right thank you so much thanks a lot